Hello everybody, I've got an unboxing video for you. First in a long time here. I think these are a little bit more interesting than just a straight up still image of uh, a board game. And what I have for you today is Star Trek Mage Knight. I mean, Frontiers. That's the only thing I know about this game, is it's pretty much Mage Knight, but in a Star Trek wrapping. And I've never played Mage Knight, so I can't speak to it. In fact, this game here, has been in the shrink for probably more than a year. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't ever taken it out, obviously, so I'm going to do a little quick unboxing of this little guy. And the one thing I like about this mainly, not just because it's Star Trek, but also because one to four players. So you can play this by yourself. You can play by yourself if you wish. It's got some really cool looking components to it, I think. And, you know, the one thing that's interesting about... Uh, games that are essentially other games but in another wrapper like this one uh, there's usually a lot of complaints about games like that but in this case i've not really seen any i've heard it's an outstanding title and in fact there's an expansion for this called the return of Khan that i've actually been eyeing on amazon and i've almost pulled the trigger on it a couple of times but i figure <laughs> i want to play this one first and see how it goes but i think that's probably a pretty good game so the back says, a game of epic exploration and adventure. Sorry about the glare, I can't really do much to, about that. A contested region of space accessible through a known wormhole has drawn the attention of powerful forces throughout the galaxy. Both the Federation and the Klingon Empire, who share a delicate alliance at this time, have recently built outposts in the region. But now news of grave troubles brewing in the region have, has alerted both the Klingons and the Federation to investigate immediately. As the task force approaches the wormhole, each captain considers the challenge of the coming mission. The Star Trek Frontiers board game is an epic game of exploration and adventure. Take control of one of four powerful starships and play a competitive and cooperative, excuse me, and play a variety of competitive and cooperative scenarios as you compete to explore this new region of space. Conquer Dominion starbases and gain new technologies, explore new planets and face new species, or assault the Borg and recruit new crew to help you reach your new heights. Level up as you progress through each mission and carefully build your action deck and captain skills for the mission at hand. So, blah, 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 blah. Let's go on and on and on about that. You get the idea. Considering this game is a few years old, if you have never heard of it before, well, you're an old man like me. Let's do the opening bit here and see what we can find. This is kind of weird opening this after having it for so many years. Okay, I like the box top. I like how it opens. I like this swing door open thing. This bag is not a toy. To avoid any danger of suffocation. Oh, Lord. Okay. That kind of thing drives me nuts. But anyway, it looks like we've got the uh, experience boards here. Let me go ahead and, I guess I can try to take them out. Nah, I won't do that. Maybe I will in a second. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you're doing this one-handed. So we've got space tiles here that represent the quadrant that you're exploring. Uh, here's the neat stuff. Here's the little ships. Oh, a lot of little Borg there. We've got a Klingon. Let me see if I can get that against it. There we go. Klingon Bird of Prey. Sorry if my hand shakes a little bit. The detail there is very good, actually. Let's see. We've got the usual do not eat silica gel bag. Oh, this is kind of tough to get out. There we go. Let's try it over here instead. Here's a Klingon ship. I believe that's one of the newer ones. Nice detail on it. Here's the third one. The Enterprise, or the Galaxy class, I should say. I'm guessing that's the Enterprise. And let's see here. We've also got what looks like, oh yeah, the Defiant from DS9. Very, very small little model, barely the size of my fingertip. 
And then we got Borg. We've got four Borg cubes. Very detailed, very large too. So that's it. Oh, and it's quick. I forgot about that. So information about the ship itself can be displayed on the little click device. And I'm assuming that these have snap-on ones that will go in there. And I've totally lost where these go in. <laughs> oh, well, I'll figure that out later. Okay, so we got a ton of cards over here too. Federation officer. Looks like a generic Federation officer number two from that one episode. Um, Borg level Q. So, oh, more Q backs of cards here. Ambition. No idea what that is. Achievement bonuses. So, I guess that's like Steve achievements, maybe? Star Trek Frontiers. Explore, move. Must be like move and action type cards. So, lots of stuff there. What else do we have? We have. Oh, wow. So, this comes out like poker chips. And we've got tons of little markers, various information. I'm kind of loath to pull all those out and make a mess, especially when handed, because I know I'm not keeping an eye on things here. But the one thing that's getting me right now is where the heck is the rule book? Maybe it's underneath this. There is not anything there. Hmm. Maybe it's over here in this bag. Yep, there we go. Okay, yeah, so I saw that on the first shot. So I guess I will be opening this bag to begin with. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. Sorry for the delay. Maybe some post-production can be done. Okay, full rule book. Totally missed it. 24 pages long. Full color. Lots of little teeny print, though. It's at three columns per page. That's a hell of a lot of text to get through. And it looks like different scenarios you can play. Uh, not as many illustrations as I might like from a document this large. Uh, no color, well, I mean, a lot of color pictures, but no color examples. So, like the giant graphic display of like, showing examples of play or movement or combat, stuff like that. It looks like it's just all kind of read out or just laid out here in text. So, I guess that's okay. I'll have to get into the game and really see how good that is. So, there you go, guys. We've got Star Trek Frontiers, if the box will close for me. There we go. And uh, perhaps I can do a review of this one in the future. Thanks for watching.